You're just like your dad, you are. You're never going to amount to nothing. You might as well quit school now and get yourself down the door like your crackhead dad. No, I ain't. I'm not going to be anything like that scum or you. Enough of your cheek, you little scrubber. You'll never make it out of blight, nor you will. Jordan? Georgia? Connell? Connell? Did anyone see Connell? No. I'm going to have to call Connell's mum because it's just not coming to lessons. Uh, well, just be careful because you know they had a split recently, the parents, so, you know, it can be a little bit awkward on the phone, so just warning you there, okay? Hello, Mrs. Gunter. It's Miss Hill. I don't want anything to do with that waste of space. Okay, sorry, Miss Hill. I'm calling in regards to Connell. He hasn't turned up for lesson again and I'm becoming really concerned about his behaviour and education. What do you want me to do about it? Maybe you can have a word with him, Miss Gun. I mean, Hill, before matters are taken into the Academy's hands. You won't listen to me, never mind you. So after all the trouble with the police, I felt like I needed to change. I wanted everything with my family to be okay. Mum and Dad split up, but it's okay because me and Mum don't argue as much anymore. We have moved house and Dad's even gone to rehab. I've also just finished a 10-week course with the police that was offered to me by the Prince's Trust. After hearing Connell's story, it's allowed me to reevaluate my opinion on young people. Why should a boy in a hoodie be called a chav? Putting a label on someone is always going to make them act that way. Never again will I.